This man spent two hundred dollars on one game. Almost two fifty actually. Stupid Stupid oh. Here! Finally! Dragon Ball Z Kakarot Collector's Edition. This is uh, Thursday, January 16th. Happy birthday, little bro. Guys, this is the game I've been waiting for all year. This is the only game I've been hyped for. Uh, this might be the only game that I buy. So, let's go ahead and look at this collector's edition and get a little unboxing action happening. Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, PS4. I will be streaming this. Link will be in the description below. Pretty, pretty uh, big boy right here. Let's see how much I paid for it. So, I paid $199.99. With tax, that would be about $216. Sadly, I got talked into getting the season pass because I am a completionist, as you guys know. And the season pass itself was $24.99. They gave me a whopping total of $243.54. That is a lot of money. So, before we get into this unboxing, you guys know what to do. Like this video right now. In fact, like it right now. It's not the usual pop video, it's a Dragon Ball Z content. A lot of my friends are Dragon Ball Z fans, so it's the best of both worlds. Also, if you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you like Dragon Ball Z content, anime content, and Funko Pop content. Thirdly, follow the boy on Instagram at Dark Sage Collections. I do have a Discord also. You can see the link in uh, my Instagram, but that all will be in the description. So, let's go ahead and go to the unboxing right now. Whoo! Go ahead and get the sides right here, guys. The back of this box, it shows everything in there, and that statue looks amazing, guys. Full game, a statue comes with it, the steel book. I love my steel books. And this art uh, book. I really don't care for the art book, but I will be looking at it every now and then. That's like a, that's the toilet read, like when you, you know, doing your business in the toilet and you need something to read, that's what this is. So let's go ahead and open it right now. Rated T for teens, so all you 12 year olds, you can't play this, I'm sorry. Ooh, we got the top of the box right here, guys. We got the regular game case, and then we got the steel book. I sometimes like keeping my steel books in the collector edition boxes, just so you know it stays clean. I need to get some steel book protectors, guys. And uh, full game right here, and I'm playing this tonight. We got a steel book right here. Let's see what's actually in the steel book. Uh, nothing. It's just a empty case. But I do like the artwork. I do love having Dragon Ball Z steel books. I only have probably about. Four or five, three of them being games, Xenoverse 2, Fighter Z, and this one. Now we're gonna take this part off of the box right here. Actually, some weight to it, so I guess the art, oh yeah, the art book's in here. This is the art book right here, guys. Hmm. I don't know why I look like I'm reading this, because y'all know I can't read. So, this has just character concepts and things like that. It looks really good. I can't wait to play the game because the game looks marvelous. It looks fantastic. I'm going into this game with an open mindset. Because a lot of people, they're tired of seeing uh, the same Dragon Ball Z story told over and over again. But guys, let, let's be real for a second. A lot of songs go over the same materials over and over again. It's all about execution because we've been listening to the same thing for years, but it's just different execution. With this, different execution. Xenoverse. Kind of not the same story, but different approach to the same story that we all know and love. This game hopefully will be good. I heard it's all right. I haven't really looked at reviews. I haven't really looked at any gameplay or trailers because I want to go in this with an open mind. Nothing to spoil me. I just want to be surprised the whole time, guys. This is the art book. It's pretty tall. Here's a comparison size for right here. Now it's time to get to the statue. This is it right here. Pretty big. Woo! The detail. Sheesh. Sheesh. This figure looks awesome. I actually kind of like this. All right, guys, so with this version of the game, the collector's edition, you get the statue, which looks awesome. This is reminiscent to uh, the opening of Dragon Ball Z, the Head Chala intro. You have the regular game, 
in the case. And you have the steel book with the art book also as well. I can say with the statue, I really like the statue. I like the detail on it. You see the little city right here below it. And uh, you see the little pond. It just looks like them flying over the map like you would in the uh, Dragon Ball Z game. It's kind of reminiscent to that. And I really love it, guys. I, I don't have that many statues. I sold all my Dragon Ball Z statues except for my gaming ones. I want to keep those so I can put it like on a shelf or something like that. And I just can't wait to um, get like a little nerd room and put all this stuff in and put it on display. All right, guys, but that is it for the video. Tell me what you guys think about this unboxing video. It's something different from my Funko Pop content. Uh, tell me if you guys like the video. Don't forget to hit that like button. If you didn't like it, then I don't care. Also, tell me if you guys are actually going to get this game. I am. I did get this uh, late night release at GameStop. Uh, like I said, it was like $200, I believe. And um, I'm very happy with what it came with. I'm ready to play this game, guys. Uh, if you want to see me play, I will be streaming the whole thing on Twitch. Uh, the link will be in the description below. Also, follow me on Instagram. That way, you're updated to all the things I'm doing outside of YouTube. That way, you kind of like in the know of things. And I do have a Discord. That link will be in the description below. But I'd like to say thank you guys for watching this video on Dark Sage Out. Peace.